The Karakan is the opening you can play against the move 1e4 with the move c6. It has a reputation of being a very positional opening. It has been played by some great players of the past, like Anatoly Karpov, Yasser Seyravan, but also the more modern players like Vichy Anand and even Magnus Carlsen played it in a match for the World Championship title. After d4, d5 we get a starting position. As we can see, Black is fighting for the center and he has his bishop still open. At the same time, he lacks a little bit of space, which is the case in the advanced variation with the move e5. But first, let's look at all the options for white. There are already sidelines on move 2. White can play the move knight c3, d5, knight f3, the two knights variation. Here, black has different ways of playing, most notably two different options, the traditional and the more modern option. The traditional option is to go bishop g4. After h3, white will win the bishop pair, bishop takes f3 and queen takes f3. In return for the bishop pair, black has a very solid pawn structure. He'll play the move e6. He has a fine bishop and very easy development. Some people debate that white has an advantage due to the bishop pair, but it is very hard to say. Instead of the move bishop g4, a very modern way to play it is to take on e4, and after knight takes e4, play the move knight f6. Black does not fear the doubling of his pawns. After knight takes f6, e takes f6, he has a very solid structure on the king side, intends to develop the bishop, then castle short, and have a very safe king here. Instead of knight takes f6, white has the option of playing queen e2. Now there are different ways to play, but do not play the move knight bd7, because after knight d6, it will be mate in one. Instead, it's possible to take the knight first, and after queen e4, now black can play knight d7, or some other moves, like bishop e6, or queen d5 or even queen a5, intending to move bishop f5. There are also other sidelines on move 2, but the main move is the move d4, putting another pawn into the center. Black goes d5. Now white has a choice. There is a so-called fantasy variation with the move f3. It is pretty rare. Much more popular are moves e takes d5, moves knight c3 or knight d2, they usually transpose, and the move e5. The e takes d5, c takes d5 is a very simple system. We get a Carlsbad structure, black gets to develop his bishop, two knights, and uh, we get a relatively quiet position. Knight c3 and knight d2 are both met with the move d takes e4. Now, after knight takes e4, uh, black has three options. There is the old variation of knight d7. This is quite notably played in the game between uh, d blue and Garry Kasparov, the famous last game. But the two main options are the traditional bishop f5 and the modern knight f6. After bishop f5, white usually goes knight g3, hitting the bishop. Bishop returns. White plays knight f3, knight d7, stopping knight e5. And after h4, h6, h5, bishop h7, bishop d3, bishop takes d3, queen takes d3. We get a tabia. Black has uh, very good pieces. But after e6, bishop d2, white will castle long. Black usually castles short, and the positions get quite complex. Black can also choose to castle long. That will be a little bit passive, as he has less space, but he'll have a safe king. Instead of bishop f5, a modern way to play is the move knight f6. Again, after knight takes f6, black is happy to take with the e pawn. This position is very complex. It's been heavily debated in the modern games. After c3, which is the main move, bishop d6, white goes bishop d3, castle, and queen c2, attacking the h7 pawn. Now, quite remarkably, after rook e8 check, it's good to develop a rook with a check, knight e2. The main move here is the move h5. A very strange move, pushing the pawn two squares from the king, but this is a modern way to play it, and many players, including Magnus Carlsen, have played it, and uh, it has a right to exist. Traditionally, knight c3 or knight d2 are the main moves, but e5, is the most topical move nowadays, is the modern, modern main line. Now again, black has uh, two options to play. He can play the tra traditional way, develop the bishop, or the modern way, counter-attacking the center with the move c5. After bishop f5, black has excellent pieces. For example, knight f3, e6, he will develop this bishop, these two knights, his bishop is outside the pawn chain, everything is great, but he lacks a little bit of space. That could sometimes be a problem, and sometimes white gets some advantage here. The move c5, however, is very different. Just like in the French, black starts a counterplay against the center, but keeps the bishop open, which can be useful, for example, after the move knight f3, 
and black could develop the bishop to g4 and only then play the move e6. This is somewhat risky as black neglects his development, but it has uh, proven to be a decent way to play as well. This is the modern way of playing the, the Karakan. As we had seen, the Karakan is a positional opening, but it can be played in two ways. It can be played traditionally, much more positionally, but also in the modern way, much more aggressive, but a little bit risky.